Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you've forgotten to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Just, um, I'm, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. selling wares, especially to fine folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Maybe later. Remember, three gold coins, that's all they cost. Stop available. There goes Brom's kid. Honestly, where's, where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children... And what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? You have? Right. I'm going to turn him into balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. 
Right, won't be long. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. Are you just going to stand there like a lemon? But being good is so boring. Wouldn't you prefer to be smashing things? Come on, there's still time before he gets back. Oh, you're no fun at all. Stupid good deed, then. Excellent. Thanks, lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. sister and a stupid teddy bear. No, he won't give it to me, just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. I told him if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. <sighs> I want more pocket money next week. <clears throat> Get him off me! He goes around the top you. <clears throat> Why are you playing with baby toys and little girls? you clean my mum's car for me yet? your award for those good deeds. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? 